Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Rookie Balboa run. Where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies. Yep, that's going to be a achievement uh, if uh, it actually comes through. But at the moment it looks like we're uh, on our way of getting our teeth further kicked in. There's the first gatekeeper on this mission. There's may be a way to sneak around them but really it is just kind of the gatekeeper in here and maybe the assassin depending on how the dice fall 11 enemies plus the assassin would be nasty elite priest elite shield bearer uh, elite officer elite trooper so kind of a lot of advent archons make matters worse but then gatekeeper and codices we brought the finest of the fine rookies Roby Divat, Dranks, and A. Aaron. Um, and we got some blue screen rounds, some shredding. We got uh, good old tracer rounds, uh, two get out of jail cards with mimic beacons. And just in case there are any uh, losses in here, uh, the ever so loved ultrasonic lure, which by the way has become kind of the trademark item for this run. I'm not even sure if the Lost made the run easier so far or if they made it worse. I can't tell because I'm so used to fighting Lost every single run. We've got to win this in order to stop the Doom Clock. We would set it back substantially and then continue our further expansion into Eastern Europe and Africa, where hopefully we then finally are in all of the regions. So when a new facility comes uh, uh, up and uh, running, we can immediately get it shut down. Okay, let's go and see how well we can do. Very good. Time to drop into this facility. And we got some high ground to play with. You can already see. This is a non-timed mission, so we should really take as much time as we need. Minus one five. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place No alien rulers here either. Some high ground over here. Okay. Hey, Aaron is the first one to scout for us. We've taken the bold caster. Mainly because if you are not in a hurry, the weapon is actually not that bad. It has a lot of core damage. It has a built-in superior scope. One of the things that we're missing in this run, pretty much. So I'm trying to leverage whatever weapon I can. And on top of it, it has a natural plus uh, natural 20% stun quota against targets that are being hit by it. Let's maybe start here. On target location. Evert moves in with Roby. Good. Waiting for the enemies to show up. Certainly doesn't help that all of it is very dark and rainy. <coughs> so hopefully that will change soon. Enemy sighted. Got the first enemy pack here. Look. Um... Moving over here. On the move. That's an overwatch. And that's an overwatch. And if push comes to shove, we have a mimic beacon. But I think we should be doing fine. Let's try to hit them. I would have preferred a bit more critical damage, but that's okay so far. <coughs> Good, so one of them is down already. That's affirmative. I think he might be withdrawing. Oh. 
Highly damaged, nothing to lose. Might just withdraw. And the assassin is back. Hmm. Good, that could be another shot. Yep, 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 shoot, shoot. Okay, thank you, Chosen Assassin. I appreciate your support. We're removing the fear, thanks to our bond. And let's grab the loot. Advanced stock is okay. Superior speed is fantastic, unfortunately. Not what we can use. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving on target location. Moving overwatch. Ready to go. Good. We're going to take the high ground here again. Chosen might just run into us at some point. Gotta be careful not to be hit by a harbor wave. Move, move, move. Good. Overwatch, Overwatch. I'm on. Come get some. There's something out there. And the chosen, for whatever reason, is revealed. I will not be so easily defeated again. We've got the chosen right where we want them. Well, now we know why she's revealed. So it was stated. You are outmatched, and your time is running short, Commander. Good, moving over here. Adjacent hits better. Reload. And then advanced teamwork. Yes, please. Good, we gotta prep the chosen. Moving away from the fire. One can still see her, that's good. Launching. Good, there is no indication that there will be losses here. It's a bit of a shame. And now it's <clears throat> time to get her down. So a few things. I believe we can start with dual strike. Uh, very bad. She's going to take shots back. Good, nice hit. That will not be enough to stop me. Another hundred percent hit, come on. And there's the execution. Very well. Could have saved one of our uh, ability transfers here. It's not the end of the world. Good. We're going to overwatch. Obi moves away from the burning. And we're just going to overwatch. This fire here needs to die down before we can move on. Oh, 
All right, at least one hit. That's good. Good. Fire has died down. Fantastic. We got a mimic beacon if needed. Let's try to hit this guy. Holy moly. And see, there is undying loyalty. At its finest, right? Moving to designated position. Seventy five per cent and a good chance of critical hit. Yeah, I didn't get it. Unfortunately, not good enough. I hate being in half cover, but this might be it. Good, very good. Nice critical hit. Reloading. Let's try this again. Good, we're down to 1 HP. He is going to use shield. Just to survive. 5 armor is nasty. Good, Aaron, thankfully, has a really good, not a really good um, to hit chance. That's even worse. But let's try to get the rock away. Or just hit him and kill him. And Undying Loyalty just strikes again. Guys, I hope you can start at least to appreciate just how bad this is going to be imagine in a normal time mission every single enemy has a chance of going down and spawning one of these hilariously powerful zombies they don't just die you can't flash bang them to death they're not disappearing and they for sure as hell are not going to uh, stop before they reach you and kill you. Position confirmed. Good to go. Reloading. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch and reload. Overwatch. Good, we got the chosen. And we got two packs so far, which is four enemies down. Leading me to believe that we still have seven more enemies. And that awkwardly looks like uh, mm, Gatekeeper plus Codices on one pack and another pack. I might be wrong. But it's, I'm pretty sure this is what we're going to deal with. Good, we're slowly going to take that other high ground. So far, we're, we have been doing well on the high ground. Roger that. A Aaron begins to move up. Drinks follows him closely, and we're just going to Overwatch. Nothing, okay. Double 
Good, we slowly but surely have moved over. We're going to expand our fire line just along this high ground here. There's some cover that you could take on the other side. Okay, that's likely going to be a turret of some sorts. Can't really see anything in the fog of war yet. Good, but we can take this position here. Good. Slowly crawling along the high ground. At any time, at least two of our operatives should continue the overwatch. It's always coming from the same direction. Very strong indicator that it is a turret. There's another... There's another piece of cover that you can take a bit further to the front. We do not have a sniper, so we're just going to move out of here for now. But the guys with blue screen rounds should be the ones moving in next. This behavior, by the way, is also completely normal and happens very frequently. You're spotting out a tower and another pack just joins in. Which is why on those non-time missions... You can take your merry sweet time. Shot wide. You don't need to rush in. Really. Heading to that location. Good. Time for the Archon. Nice little hit. Like it. Archon down to 1 HP. Still down to 1 HP. Position confirmed. We should be maybe playing this with a Mimic Beacon. Hmm. Wouldn't move to here because the turret has blocked Let's try to shoot first and ask questions later. No, nope, didn't work. Good, so... Here we go, Mimic Beacon. Doesn't matter, we have a second one. Almost got them to the point where they would have... where they would have been easy to kill. And where I would have simply ignored if it was a single single one of them Get 
Okay, perfect time for the bolt caster. Archon. Goes down. Very nice. And this could be undying loyal. I was just about to say that. Unbelievable. The amount of disgust that I do have for the, uh, this dark event is beyond words. It's the worst dark event. I go to the record and saying it is the worst dark event. Can't imagine one that is worse than that. There are a couple that are really, really bad, but Undying Loyalty just takes the prize every day of the week. The reason why I think it is so incredibly bad is, imagine, number one, it screws over all of your melee, uh, melee uh, classes. The moment, the, one of the things that you really appreciate about melee classes, one of the few things where they are arguably better than non-melee classes is, because they could simply run in and there is a 100% chance that they will get the job done, right? Wrong. Because with Undying Loyalty, what will happen more often than not is they will run in and shortly afterwards they kill someone and find themselves standing literally right next to a zombie uh, which is going to retaliate next turn and they aren't they are hitting for a lot we're talking six eight uh, ten points of damage critting uh, quite nicely so uh, the second thing why it is incredibly bad and then i stopped the rant about it uh, is one of uh, the aspects of solving uh, the x puzzle i suppose is that you are capable of of dealing with uh, remaining hit points and yeah finding a way of essentially solving the amount of hit points that are on the table versus all of the skills that you have in order to take either crowd control them or take them out okay so far so good the moment that you add something that triggers really 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 frequently into the equation you add a new variable that mind you you as a player cannot control and we all know how much we absolutely love the purifiers and their random chance for explosion or things like say the mutants and their ability to uh, strike back in melee combat we all know them and typically what that means is the player will adjust and simply not do something. But what are you not going to do with Advent? Not killing them anymore because uh, they will spawn more? No, you need to kill them, right? So it is a mechanic that just makes Advent so much stronger and makes it harder for you to go through peaks. Advents typically are the ones that, um, not always, but typically speaking, are the types of enemies that you would want to eliminate first because they have relatively speaking less hit points uh, than the rest so if you find yourself uh, thinking about you know what should i really attack a priest that already has a sustenance sphere and is immune to most of the stuff that uh, i would throw at him and then you add just another layer of uh, of fun into the mix where you say well now the same priest doesn't only have uh, there were uh, codic uh, codices up there the same priest doesn't only have all of the abilities that you know and love the same priest on top of that also will resurrect relatively speaking often Yeah, and that's really, ladies and gentlemen, why the whole thing gets my vote. Ah, are we?
Why did I move away in the first place? This is a bad spot to stand. Half cover. I thought I was out of range, but I wasn't. Hmm, do we want... Yeah, I think we're... We want that. I don't want damage on Roby here. Alright, not optimal. Could have saved that one. I was too busy ranting about undying loyalty. Good, we're slowly but surely going to move up. It's killing time. We need to reload here. There's something out there. Okay, let's um, count. We got two towers. Uh, we got uh, two times two in the patrols. So that's six already. And we've seen at least two... Um, we've seen at least two codices up there. Moving to designated position. Good, we're standing here. I don't want the guy with the single uh, shot weapon to block the ladder. Okay, moving up. Nothing. Heading there now. Heading there now. Heading there now. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Yes, Good. We all got some Overwatches. Definitely, there is a pack up, um, upstairs. Questions, how do we deal with them? Understood. Moving out. Moving over here. Okay. Moving to position. Okay. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. We almost saw them. So they seem to be moving. I'm wondering if they will come in our direction. If we could get an Overwatch trap going against them, that would be fantastic. Still waiting for that right moment. Good, there's one here, one there. Oh, you know, this is the eyeball. All right, we know the eyeball is here. Let's maybe shred it. 
and see if this will persuade them. Okay, they still have not officially tr uh, been triggered. Good, one more round. If we trigger them on our round, there is another advantage because uh, we do have technical analysis, so they can't really move away that much. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, the eyeball is still over there. Let's trigger them. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. Hello. I know, complete shocker, right? Can we move up? Yes, we could move up from here. Moving to designated position. Good. Let's first of all eliminate all of the noise, aka the uh, accomplices. This is our Mimic Beacon. Don't know if I want to take that shot. Good, we got two of them down. This is not going to kill him. But we're moving in nice and steady here. Next turn is the turn. For now, yeah, move over into the open here. Good. Good riddance. So, let's get as close to that thing as humanly possible. There now. Moving up. Downstairs. Moving way. up as well. We're ignoring the codex for now. Equally so. Moving over here. Good. Well, let's start peppering it, I would say. It's not going to get any better. Move over. Best case scenario, we can stun it with our Plasma Bolt caster. I imagine that massive bolt bl uh, blaster just shooting the central eye. 
And this is now the problem with these things. Uh, they are hard to hit. 58% and 58%. Okay, well. Might as well take the double dual shot here. Nice, come on. Just one more hit. One more hit is all I'm looking for. Alright, the psionic bomb will backfire a bit. There you go, four feedback. And four feedback. Codex is almost down. Good. Moving right here. Ooh, I'm happy we killed our first gatekeeper. And it wasn't like a particular, really, really, re particularly, really, really, really close fight. It it wasn't e uh, e uh, easy either. Like it took all we had, but it was not like okay, this is not going to happen at all. Like the one fight against uh, against uh, the chosen where I was trying to kill him and it was like punching against a brick wall. Wow, it's a nasty injury. I think that deserves a proper retaliation. Very nice. We're planting the C4. Menace one five. Status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. And we're starting to move out. Right there. There now. What a nasty, nasty mission overall. Good. Yeah, we don't need to fight reinforcements. I'm pretty much satisfied. Although, let's check one thing. Reinforcements may carry loot. And that loot may be um, ores. So, let's just give it a try and see if they would be dropping something. If not, it's fine. More Advent forces moving on our position. Menace one five, be advised. We've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Good, that's one down. Could use some ammo over here. Headed there now. Eva moves up. 
And unless we're seeing really a drop here. Yeah. Let's just call it a day. We could defeat them, but there is only a limited chance. I don't even know if reinforcements automatically carry loot. It's been a while since I found reinforcements. We got one bit of loot and that was okay. Good, very good. See what we got. Superior speed, good. Advanced stock, mm. not bad. Codex brain, also okay. Admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Good. Let's continue the radio radio relay here. And the cool part about it is we have two further facilities in reach. Every single one of them would stall uh, the Avatar project for a bit. Good. Jarenks needs some off time. It's crazy. We're continuously removing negative traits. How many more contacts do we have? Not many. So might as well upgrade that last one into resistance comms. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. I suppose that's an option. And where else could I put engineers? Seems we have already upgraded everything. Might as well put another engineer here so that we have a power surplus. Yeah, we got quite a few engineers. Okay, very good. Commander, now that we've built the shadow chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. In the field, the codex appears as an anomaly. So form the codex we can now soon upgrade our shadow chamber. It looks like we've got our and that We've locked in the coordinates Shen and Tigan pulled from the Codex, Commander. We go there uh, once we do have the Codex data and also once we can actually reach it. For now, it's okay. We're making contact here and we got Bomb Squad, which means immediate uh, building of heavy weapons. That's not bad. We have a steady trace on the Chosen Assassin. She's active in this area here. Can't make any more contacts because we ran out of number of contacts, really. So what's next? What is next? I think we can start the supply uh, drop and very soon month end will happen and then we can just continue with supplies. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, teleportation after taking damage. That's really bad. Oh, it's, I hate that trade. And she's also going to fight us. We're likely going to be shut down once again in this campaign. He's uh, increasing his strength. 
Look, things are not going to look very good. Return fire sucks. Infestation sucks even more. Oh, they are giving us the really, really nice dark events now. On the other hand, our resistance orders were underwhelming is what the spokesperson would potentially say. Yeah, nothing of that is any good. Psionic feedback is above average. It's okay, but certainly not like fantastic. Good. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Hey, can't do that. You know what? Can't do that. And... This is really not that good. But I suppose four hacking is better than nothing. This is so... the It, it drains your moral. I don't want to come ar uh, across like I'm complaining about this run. It's like the challenge is just insane. But... If you see eight selections and you're like, mm, yeah, I would like to do this, uh, oh, doesn't uh, doesn't work. Then you always see health plus one. The things that you actually care about. Avatar progress reduction. Nope, not happening. Health plus one, another health plus one. And matter of fact, even countering the attack like that would be fantastic. Yeah, and we got hacking plus four. Six days. Attacks here. And Epi. Maybe you will bond over this. Who knows? Go and go in peace. Begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Good. This might actually be helpful for us. Because I suspect this is an actual supply rate, meaning we can get three, uh, we can get three cores out of it. But that also means the whole mission will be plenty difficult. Okay. Yep, superior expanded magazine. It's the only thing we get. That's it. And we don't even need it. We also don't need the superior stock. Story of this run. I can't really purchase what I want. That's another depressing uh, fact since five months, uh, since I had the last superior uh, scope in here. Nothing. Or oh, three months, nothing. And I'm trying to find a scope, and I'm basically trying to find superior repeaters. Or Ilarium cores. We're getting stocks on mass. We get superior laser sights, superior autoloaders, superior expanded magazines. So normally I would kill for these superior expanded magazines because they somehow, whenever I want them, are not available. But this run, no such thing. Sherlock, you need to run without all of these fine amenities. Officer, purifier, gatekeeper, wonderful. Yep, that's going to be a fun mission, but it is a mission in, in which of the chosen? Oh yeah, the hunter. Okay, well, we can deal with uh, with that. That's going to be a very difficult mission, but one that I think we could get through. So, we still have uh, a couple of our primary teams that could go through that without uh, taking much willpower damage. And maybe we're upgrading the bond of a secondary team. Just need the right equipment and hit that um, hit that gatekeeper very hard. So the one thing that I was horrified about and really, really terrified in the end game was dealing with gatekeepers and sector pods. That seems to work reasonably well. I might have just been lucky so far, but you can deal. You can 
deal with one of them, but only one, because then your cooldowns are basically gone. This here is good. I like where it's going, but we need the third armor. The, the things that uh, have not yet worked out were the blaster bombs, but if we get, say, uh, three cores out of it, like uh, the last uh, supply mission, that would actually mean a lot for us because we can get two experimental heavy weapons and uh, the rage suit. And if our cards are uh, good, it could be a shred storm cannon and a blaster launcher or two blaster launchers. So that could uh, kind of push us over the edge and fin finalize our equipment there. And the other thing is really just the uh, research breakthrough for plasma weapons plus one damage, but I won't be uh, waiting until that happens or maybe never happens. So instead, what the plan is going to be is we're trying to get the, those blaster launchers and then we're attempting the golden path missions, which for all intents and purposes will be ultra hard. But if we can somehow manage through them, then nothing holds us back from trying, at least trying, the network tower and the final mission. Whether or not this is going to be successful or even possible, who knows. But I'm damn motivated at this point to pay back and, uh, and bring this run home. If I could pull this off, it would be a satisfying, very satisfying achievement. Ultra uh, satisfying. I think, to my understanding, no one has ever done something like that. Why Why would they? This is just crazy X coming. Uh, but it would be cool. All right. Thumbs up, guys, if you are ex as excited as I am. Maybe there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Thumbs up and leave a comment down below how you, f uh, how you experience the fight against that um, gatekeeper. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.